hopeful home buyers have a new acronym to remember and to fill with money. The FHSA program opens this Saturday. It was announced in the latest federal budget budget as a way to help build up that crucial down payment. Jeannie Lee is here with more on that. So Jeannie, what will determine this program's success? Well, if uh, more buyers can actually be helped to buy a home, obviously it would be uh, a measure of success. But Hannah, you know just how challenging it is. Uh, and for generations of home buyers, getting that down payment together has been a challenge. These days, it's practically impossible for so many uh, uh, young people, especially, to be able to get that money together. Um, and even in the last year, when you have prices of homes down 10, 20 percent or more, uh, the problem is that uh, interest rates have spiked. So that has made the monthly payment so much more out of reach for a lot of buyers. So. Even with this program, we can say that there are a lot of curveballs that could actually make it not work for some people. And here's what we mean. If prices should, for example, climb again, get back into a, a, a situation where we're seeing sort of the ongoing boom pick up again, and maybe even rise faster than savings can, can rise, that has always been a problem. And even with this plan, that, would, uh, that scenario would obviously be one that would still keep a lot of people out of the market. Now, if um, interest rates, for example, should stay at their recent levels or even rise some more, uh, which is not that likely given what's happening as we speak, uh, but certainly they aren't going to fall again. So let's say if rates were to stay where they are, that still means that a lot of people are looking at payments that are hundreds of dollars more per month than just a year ago. And already that has been a challenge uh, and uh, a problem, uh, even if you can save up for a down payment. The other thing is, what if the program is so popular that more first-time buyers are actually empowered and you know do get uh, together enough of a down payment to then come into the market, that would create many more buyers to compete against, and that would obviously bring up the whole thing of uh, uh, pressure pushing up prices again. So the other thing is uh, family help. That's always been a factor in the last uh, few years where if families can afford it, mom and dad can afford it, they can hand over some money to help the kids get a house, well, uh, you know, that might actually happen with this program too because nothing stops parents from giving their kids money to put into their uh, programs, these, this program, these savings programs, and then getting into the market sooner, which then, of course, would create demand and drive up prices, which is great for anybody with family help to get into the market, but if you're not that lucky, it makes it even harder. Yeah, remind us how this is supposed to work. Right, well the whole idea is to be able to get into a, a, a disciplined way of saving money. And so here we go, the ABCs of the FHSA. Uh, you can contribute up to $40,000 over five years um, and you get a tax deduction on deposits, the same way you would with an RSP. So you get that money back, presumably you save that as well. And you can save up to $8,000 a year, but if you can't do it one year, you can roll over the contribution room to another year. Interest, dividends, and capital gains, anything you make on your money in that fund, you can keep tax-free to buy that first house. So that's another way to power up those savings. The other thing is you can stack these uh, programs. There's already an existing program called the HBP, the Home Buyer's Plan, in which you can take money out of your RSP up to $35,000 if you're a first-time buyer. Add it all up, the total you can accumulate under this program is $75,000 plus those tax deductions plus growth so that anyone saving from scratch would be looking at, to maximize this, $1,250 a month in savings into these programs, which, Hannah, if you think about it, is good practice for when you finally own a house, or should I say own a mortgage, because that's what you own for the first 20 years or so. 